morning. How are you all? Getting tired? Sleepy? Hungry? Thirsty? Want to go home? Yeah, I know. But we're here for a purpose that is God's purpose that makes us to be brought into more in line with his heart, with his mind, and so on. Uh, some of you maybe don't know me very much, and I'm glad to be here, and I want to thank uh, uh, Dr. Timothy Park and the, ex the fabulous executive uh, group, the team that have pulled this conference together again. And it's my privilege to be here. As you know, I come from the South, the Deep South. I'm Australian, but I have been living in America for 30 years now, back and forth to Asia, having spent my 20 years in Thailand. So my heart is still Asian. My whole life is given to Asia. And although I started to move towards a focus on Islam when I came out and all the way through my theological training, I found the door was closed when I arrived in Asia. And the Lord redirected me to Thailand. I knew nothing about Buddhism. I knew nothing about Thailand, but God had his purpose. He wanted me to take on the challenge of the Buddhist world. And it was so that as I uh, began to look at this, I praised the Lord that my oldest son went back to Indonesia years later as a missionary. He's still a missionary, uh, but he's now in the States and home staff of pioneers. And uh, it's wonderful what God does in our lives. When I was a young man, I took a fee, uh, Psalm 16:8 as my life verse. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. You know, my mother's name was Grace. My wife's name is Faith. So theologically, I'm okay, because I was born of grace, but I live by faith daily. <laughs> we want to talk about CNET. And CNET is a, 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 no, it has nothing to do with the sea or catching fish in a net, but it has a, a, a view of seeing the world as God sees it and being there as fishermen to bring in the Buddhist world to the Lord Jesus Christ, all right? We have developed this network uh, for a ne neglected megasphere. Many of the other uh, major uh, Hindu and Buddhist, I mean, uh, Islamic things have had great networks. The Buddhist world was lacking, and so we worked together. Where the Buddhist world is is in South, East, Southeast, and North Asia. And it's a network we call CNET, where over one billion are waiting for... Um, Enlightenment. One billion Buddhists in 227 nations. Need to be changing that. Can we change this, the slide? There we go. And also we have a, another... Um, uh, change the slide, please. Sorry, I'm not sure. Okay. We have a website that has been developed or is in the process of being developed as our older one has gone defunct. But uh, we do praise the Lord that we are walking and moving. CNET is not an organization, please. It's not an organization. Uh, more, it's an interactive training forum. It's a net that works. We don't just have a sort of relationship, but it's working. We meet, meet annually to pray, to discuss to learn together and plan for the ministry to reaching that one billion Buddhist world. It's very important. Two things that occur, not just meeting and that's it, but back in the home countries, wherever they are, and the, all the nations where the Buddhist worlds are, we have then trying to set up teams for in-country training workshops and also in-country local core teams where they began to put what they learn at our CNET meetings back into practice in their home countries. This is a very important part of CNET. We have a charter and a purpose. And that purpose is mobilizing the global church to share the gospel with the Buddhist world. CNET facilitates networking and partnering to pray 
and to reach the Buddhist world to catalyze and to sustain church multiplying movements within each Buddhist people group. To do that, we have annual working training gatherings. And since February 1999, we have ye yearly gatherings for training and networking, uh, which are held here in Asia. We have country action working groups at that training program uh, where they get together and sort of mash out with Dr. David Lim's help some of the programs they need to get involved in in the local country. We have focused on five or four main areas, prayer mobilization, training and research, developing uh, strategy development for CPMs and mobilizing the local church for multiplying in the local uh, areas. We also have a printed prayer guide which was produced in 2002 called A Billion Weight. But the strategic tools that we have for the Buddhist world basically uh, come out of that training program where we have these volumes like these uh, that have been come around. Uh, there are three men, the SLSs who are here, uh, Dr. Somaratna, uh, David Lim and myself. I think we have uh, chapters in every one of the 12 volumes. So CNET, CNET is a group of people with a love for and a passion to see all the peoples of the Buddhist world brought to full relationship with God and our Lord Jesus Christ. To do that and to organize it, we have a steering group, which is a small group uh, assisted by some of the country representatives and some advisors who set plans and organize these annual events. Actually, next week, we will be having this particular meeting in Bangkok. This year, coming up in 1917, uh, uh, 2070, 17, our theme will be Merit, Works, and Karma in the Folk Buddhist World. We just finished our conference in January, which we focused on fear, shame, and guilt in the Buddhist world. And that volume is in process of being uh, published as well. Attendance to our, because of the, in, the sensitivity of many parts of the Buddhist world, uh, the attendance is by invitation only. However, if you really are interested, you can either talk with any of the representatives of CNET, like David or myself, uh, give us your information, and we'll be glad to make sure that you get the information for uh, coming to that place. Uh, we do have to be careful, of, obviously, because of certain situations we are working with throughout the world, like the Muslim world does. Okay. Strategic and administrative model, we picked up the concept of the Buddhist wheel, which is uh, uh, the, the wheel of life, so to speak, uh, can be the wheel of Dharma also, but it has uh, three things in our organization. One is a facilitative and communicative hub, the central hub, that is our steering group. It has spokes then going out of communicating to the national action teams at the rim where the action is actually taking place. So we're trying to have a strategic model that works in this way. This is just showing the CNUT country core teams that we have. This is one of them we just met just recently. And these are the local people in each country that are working on their own programs. So CNET has a set of foci which bring practical resources and tools to the task of reaching our Buddhist neighbors, their fa our families, peoples, tribes, and nations. We have a worldwide uh, burden for calling to prayer and concerted mobilization of the resources to present Christ lovingly in all of his fullness to Buddhists everywhere. So the prayer movement, we actually had a movement a few years back now uh, where we mobilized a billion hours of prayer for a billion Buddhists. See in an action strategy, we hold missiological forums and publish relevant papers, establish country action core teams and coordinators to activate local plans and strategies in order to mobilize churches for church extension uh, to communities, to initiate prayer movements in their countries, excuse me, 
to hold motivational conferences, vision casting, train workers inside the countries, do research, data gathering, implement experiments in indigenous church planting movements, and evaluate contextually and replicate the lessons that we learn year by year. We have a CNET forum which began in 2002. It's an annual study on theological and missiological issues. And out of them, each time we produce our CNET volumes, which are serious scholarship that is published and worthy of being used as texts in college courses. So here we see some of the different um, uh, volumes that have been available. Here's a better picture of some of them. There we are. <coughs> we have one more in process at the moment. There are other elements that we like to suggest to you as resources for the, for the Buddhist world. A uh, Christian pocket book, a little book booklet that I produced that's available from OMF. China Resources, The Sharing Christ in the Tibetan Buddhist World by Mark Zering. Uh, the Step-by-Step -step Mongolian Christian by Huge Kemp, who is a New Zealander. And Peoples of the Buddhist World by Paul Hathaway which uh, we encourage them to do, and that's a great prayer resource as well. It's on CD. How about getting into the action? We want you to be part of reaching the Buddhist world. Even if you're working elsewhere, you can always be involved in prayer. And so we ask you to pray. Will you pray for that billion Buddhists worldwide? Commit to them now. We need to mobilize others also so that the spread and vision uh, the nature of God's passion. Uh, we model Jesus' service to them. We encourage others to be involved, stimulate action, prayer and pray in groups everywhere within those countries and show the compassion of Christ so that we proclaim Christ fully in his, all his fullness. We have to build bridges to the Buddhist world. Building bridges is important because it... Focus, change please. Thank you. Uh, it changes. It's vital because it's credibility, relationships, which is all within the Buddhist world, friendships to be built, understanding them and them understanding us. It's also vital to communicate Christ and all of his gospel. The 86% of Buddhists who do not know a single Christian, how in the world are they going to be reached? Would you trade places with, that, with those Buddhist people without a potential of hearing the gospel? If not, would you be involved to be part of the process of reaching them? Uh, we have a commitment that before God, I stand in all my humility, in all humility, in the gap, and be on behalf of the Buddhist people, I determine today to serve with all my strength to proclaim and live Christ amidst them until he established his kingdom among all Buddhist peoples, that all families may hear, understand, believe, and obey. Last slide. So that's it. This Buddhist world. Pray for us. Be involved with us. Thank you. I'll be glad to talk with you later.